Over course of my career in the fishing industry, I've seen a ton of technological advancement in fishing, all of it designed to make your and my experience better when we're on the water. Whether it's line, lures, rods, hooks, reels, all of this advancement is solely for the purpose of letting us fish longer, harder, faster and smarter, and getting more out of the enjoyment of the sport. As a gearhead, I am absolutely in love with this kind of stuff. Whether it's gear ratios or materials or new hook points, all of this stuff turns my crank and I always think, am I going to have the next competitive edge when I'm on the water? The problem is, out of all those things being developed in the industry, probably the single category that has remained the same in the way it's built has been fishing rods. And that is until now. Traditional rod manufacturing has always been done the same way. There's a sheet material that has fibers running vertically and one that runs horizontally. Now the horizontal fibers give the rod its strength or its lifting power. But the vertical fibers, they give the rod that hoop strength that stops ovalization, which usually leads to rod failure or snapping. The thing is, with Spiral X, their technology is completely different and it eliminates that traditional binary sense of building a blank. Shimano introduced Spiral X technology a few years ago in the saltwater market and it really made a lot of waves. So how's it going to relate for you and me? I want to take a walk through it and let's break it down. Let's break down the Spiral X technology and see exactly how you and I as anglers are going to benefit from this. Now Spiral X is not about a pattern on the blank. It's not about what it looks like under the clear coat and it's not about how cool looking the blank is. Spiral X is actually a patented technology in the way that Shimano produces this specific blank and it's unique to them. With Spiral X, they start off with a carbon tape wrapped at an angle from the butt of the blank all the way to the top, but it's done without gaps, creating one uniform tape. Now that tape and the way they wrap it is what they call infinity tape. That initial infinity tape is then covered by a high carbon sheet material that has horizontal fibers. They then go back over that with another layer of the infinity tape wrapped at an angle from top to bottom in the opposite pattern of the original angle. This creates that X pattern, and that increases hoop strength, reduces ovalization, rod twist, and there's a number of benefits that we're going to go through that really make it more beneficial for you and I as an angler. The key to building these Spiral X blanks is the fact that Shimano actually has 
30 types of the carbon infinity tape at their disposal. And every one of them is different. And they match each and every one to the specific blank that they're building with this Spiral X technology. That allows them to make sure that the proper carbon tape is matching the direct application of the rod they're building. That equals a perfect blank, no matter how big, heavy, ultralight, fast, slow that you're trying to build. Now, after all this technical talk, about the rod and how it's built and the technical aspects of it, let's get to the nuts and bolts of the matter. How does it help you and I as an angler and how's it going to help us catch more fish? Because that really is what matters most. Spiral X gives us three specific advantages over traditional rod builds. And the first one is the fact that Spiral X with its cross pattern of infinity tape reduces blank twist. Because of the X pattern of infinity tape, the blank center and the focus is straight on its line rather than twisting out under load. And under load, we're talking about things like casting. So how does it help you and me? Well, if the rod's focus and energy is straight the entire way through the path of a cast, that's gonna result in more accurate and longer casts. The second thing Spiral X does is it uses less sheet material than traditional building rods. Some rods use four, five, or even six layers of graphite, but because of the three layer, it's a base infinity tape, then a base sheet, then another finish on infinity tape. Those three layers allow them to use less sheet material. And again, as an angler, how does it relate? It builds a stronger rod, but it also builds a lighter rod. So now when you look at a Spiral X blank, in its class, it actually boasts the best strength to weight ratio that you can possibly get. And as an angler, if you're making hundreds, if not a thousand casts a day, that leads to less fatigue. That leads to better balance. More power, less weight is a win for every angler involved. Finally, Spiral X also reduces twist and ovalization in the blank, whether you're talking about the tip section of the blank all the way down to the butt. How does this help you as an angler? Again, you look at it, it's all about pulling power. It's all about the ability to pull harder, easier. As anglers, the last thing you want is a rod that's gonna wear you down. Big, heavy, powerful rods traditionally weigh a lot, and they tax you when you're working big fish. With Spiral X, that isn't the case. A lot of pulling power is given to you and the best part is you can pull harder because the ovalization isn't gonna happen in that rod. It's not gonna compress like a straw would if you bent it to the point where it's gonna snap. That gives you the confidence to pull as hard as you want on these rods, but the other thing it gives you, rock solid hook sets. With no ovalization and no twisting, the focus of that rod's energy, whether you're setting the hook or pulling on a fish, lies straight in the blank and translates directly to the end of your rod. In the end, if you try to summarize what Spiral X is for an angler, it gives you a rod that's lighter, more responsive, crisper, more accurate, better casting distance, less fatigue as an angler, bigger hook sets, more power. I mean, as an angler, it's a win-win-win. And if you haven't picked up and fished a Spiral X blank, you really need to fish it to believe it.